we are now ready to write up how transformations are expressed mathematically. So we previously saw in our kinematic simple notation that we recursively transform a toolstick vector from a child coordinate frame link i into its parenting link frame i minus one and we use the transformation ti for that. The transformation ti consisted of a rotation and translation, which we can write up like shown here. So given the tooltip vector in the i link frame, we will rotate it by the angle theta i. Once we have obtained the rotated version, we are gonna add the translation li to the rotation. We will use homogeneous coordinates to express in these coordinate transformation. This is convenient as it allows us to rewrite translation as a vector addition into matrix multiplication. This is shown here, where we have the homogeneous coordinate transformation matrix, and we have the corresponding homogeneous vector that corresponds to the tooltip vector. Note that we have added a 1 to the tooltip vector and note that we have added the 0, 0, 1 row to the coordinate transformation and that the translation has been drawn into this matrix as the last column of the matrix. If one multiply through here, it is easy to see that one gets the equation from the past slide plus an extra equation saying 1 equal 1. Having chosen this representation, we can now write up the full complete transformation that takes the tooltip vector into the world coordinate system in the vector. This will simply be a sequence of transformation matrices that will be multiplied together. We have a transformation matrix from the nth link in minus one, in minus two, all the way down to one and zero. This allows us now to write up in shorthand notation that our end vector in homogeneous coordinates is equal to the sequence of transformation matrix multiplied together, multiplied by the tooltip vector in homogeneous coordinates. With this notation, we can now explain what inverse kinematics problem is all about. The idea is that we are giving some desired goal position of where we want our tool position to reach. This is denoted by the g vector. We now wish to solve for the theta values that would make the end effector reach the desired goal. This can be solved as a root search problem, but is often also Convert it into an optimization problem, minimizing the distance between the goal and the end effector. When solving this kind of problems with optimization, we often need to find the gradient of an objective function. This implies that we need to find how the end effector position varies with respect to the theta variables. That is the positive derivative of the end effector with respect to the link angles.